And today, I think I am officially there. I think I'm more focused now. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a... It's like a get ready with me, but like, it's not. It's like a tutorial, but I will speak in it, if that makes sense. But I'm going to be doing a bridal look, a Nepalese bridal look, but thing is that I'm going to be doing a Halloween tutorial on this. If there's a second part, um, but I'll be posting the second part on my Instagram page. This is solely for my Instagram page, but since I was like, since I'm already doing the Halloween bridal tutorial, I thought why not get do like a get ready with me bridal makeup tutorial. So this is going to be full on glam, full beat face, looking very snatched. I don't know how else to say this, but yeah, um, it's for those who want to learn how to do bridal looks, um, maybe. I've never done one before actually, this is my first time on camera so let's see how that goes but yeah I'm going to be trying to do a full glam brighter look for you guys um, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty palette today so let's get on to the tutorial I'm going to be using glitter well pigment today on my eyes so I'm going to be starting off with the eyes first so let me zoom you guys in a little bit sorry no my baby hair I just put on a face mask um so my skin feels very tacky but it feels very hydrated it was a kiko mask it was like one of those panda ones um really really good I mean, i'm gonna start off with my brows as you can see i have grown a little bit more hair on my brows than what i usually used to have so um what i did was i used to apply a lot of um castor oil on my eyebrows and my eyelashes before i was i went to bed every night so hence I have more hair now and I have not plucked as much hair as I usually do like I've left so much hair here because that's how I like to do my eyebrows even though I don't have any eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Anastasia eyebrow products and also their brow wiz in dark brown and this one's ebony so this one's a bit darker and then this one is a bit lighter so I use that on my inner corners and then I use this one and the darker one on the outer corners this is like my second third part actually that I bought myself let me find my brush that I always use I get this question off so much but I use the Anastasia number 14 brush it's so good like it is so precise this brush so look how precise this brush is like this is from the side and this is from this side like it's so pointy and it's so amazing to do my brows with First I'm going to be using the M330 by Morphe and I'm going to be using this um, on my transition shade. I'm going to be taking Eden as my transition shade and then I'm just going to be slightly doing this with my eyes because I don't have a lot of eyelid space so I like to do this and then like I can see my crease right here. So just on that crease I'm going to be like doing a wind, wind swiping motion and getting that eyelid color on just like this and doing like a swiping motion and just like putting the transition shade on like this is gonna help all our darker eyeshadows blend very nicely into our crease just run away with my time. I'm taking this Morphe brush again N441 and it's a bit bigger and it's more fluffier I'm going to be taking the shade Blazing 
um, and I'm just going to be putting that on my crease on top of Eden and I'm just going to be building that up because you don't want to put on any harsh color straight away because you're going to find it so hard to like blend the color later on um, so that's what I like to do is just like build the color up and make sure it's all blended very nicely um, on your crease. Then I'm taking the shade Amber, this one here, and I'm going to be <laughs> dusting off the excess product and you can see it's very dark, it's a very dark red and I'm just going to be pressing that onto the outer portion. I'm not going to go in there, this time I'm just going to be pressing it here on the outer V of my eyelid. <laughs> because that's where my transition shade is so I don't want to go above it you just want to go in that outer V shape right of your eye saffron it's like a very deep red taking this BH cosmetics brush in the number six I think this is from a collection um it's their red and pink collection I think this is a chrome collection I believe I'm just gonna it's a very like it's a very thin brush um that's fluffy and you can use it on your crease like here so it's precisely just on your crease I'm just going to be using that like to deepen up my crease I'm using the shade OUD um, this dark brown shade and I'm going to be layering that on top and then I'm going to be taking my initial brush that I use for Morphe M330 and then I'm going to be blending everything out because this brush is like clean. A Renaissance palette from Anastasia and this has some beautiful shades in it as well. And I'm going to be taking the shade Cypress Umber and I'm just going to be darkening my outer V and this palette is very pigmented guys so like go very... Um, very this pointy brush from Studio 10 is so good for cut creases. I'm using this e.l.f. Um, Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold. Um, it's like a liquid lipstick, but like it's so amazing. I love this product. You'll see why I love this product so much. And I'm going to be taking this Makeup Addiction. Their pigment in 24 carats. Um, it's so nice. I'm going to be taking a bit of the MAC Fix Plus. Um, shake it, shake it. And then just like apply it on the brush. Like, do you see that? That is so... I'm going to be using the NYX uh, Black Liner. to be very dark um as i was putting on these lashes i was like no i don't like this so you know i decided to make it darker and it kind of got like a bit messy because it wasn't blending and my glue stuck into my eye very properly as you can see black is everywhere <laughs> but i used the old huda beauty palette this is the rose gold palette i just used the black color um to darken it up and I really like how it's smoky looking off using the nip and fab nip and fall nip and fab um dragon blood fix pumping serum very long name I know I've been using this constantly like for the past two three months and I have not run out so this is really good and it really does like leave my skin feeling so fresh and really hydrates my skin which my skin needs because my skin is very dry and I get very like dry patches around like my nose area on my nose and like on my t-zone and stuff using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation literally all you need is like one, two, three, four, five, six because I have a lot of pigmentation here so six, seven, eight, 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 eight
This is so minimal. This is not even like one pound. I'm using the Iconic Pigment Stick in the shade 3.2. This is actually a foundation stick, but it's um, a lot darker than match your skin tone. So I thought I'll use this for contour. And this is a Primark concealer. I've been using this. I bought this like um, a couple of days ago, and it's I'm in the shade Toffee. Sort of reminds me of the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. from BH Cosmetics and it's like slightly angular if you can see after I've blended everything out I like to use my Kat Von D setting powder while that's baking I like to use the Hoola bronzer We'll get real. So I'm gonna go back with the Huda Beauty Dessert Dessert Desert Dusk Palette and to go back with the shade Blazing and then just put it under the eyes. We'll get real. And then I'm taking the color O U D. My new favorite liner from Boxum. Um, these products are amazing from their line and this is the eyeliner in the color Call Me. The blush kit in Radiant and look at how beautiful the shades are. I'm not a blush person. I do not wear blush, but this palette is so amazing. I love the like I love the colors, um, and I love the fact that it has a mirror as well. It's called Terrace, and it's this one. I'm going to be using the Nicole Guerrero um, Anesthesia Look it. Sadly, this palette was used by my little cousin in Denmark, and he literally just. Dived in. I don't believe him. This palette is beautiful, but <laughs> I managed to catch him just after he did it, so he didn't do too much damage. Look at that. Like, look at the glow. This is like a true red, like a true dark red. This red is so nice. Um. It's, it's called Cherry Skies and it's the NYX Liquid Sway Lip Matte. I'm gonna let the lips dry. I'm actually gonna do my hair and also my jewelry and everything, and I'll be right back. I'm oh, sorry, guys, I actually forgot to um, film an outro, but here it is. I hope you guys liked the tutorial, and please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello.